Do you grow prize-worthy tomatoes, stupendous pumpkins, or dazzling dahlias? You could win a blue ribbon for your green thumb. I'm the Body Smith. Stay tuned for the information. Winning awards for your green thumb is a thrill. I've shown my crops in competitions every year since 1967. Multnomah, Clackamas, and Clark County Fairs welcome your participation, as well as the Oregon State Fair. Each one has a website showing contest rules and who to contact for additional information. Joining me today on set is Terry, and she's proud to be Italian. Okay, what do you say, Terry? Should we do it? All right, let's do. Let's reach up, reach and extend. So we're going to do kind of a modified boot camp workout today. And reach across the body, press it out. Excellent, we're going four more, four to go. Three and two, just limbering up, push down both arms. So get up off that couch. You can do this part with us. We promise we're not going to put in any complicated, mind-bending choreography today. Let's bend the knees to a lunge. Push, push, push. Very good. Big arms up and over. Rainbow arms. They used to call these rainbow arms. <laughs> Keep going. Four more. The arch, I suppose. Now reach up, ham curls, reach and extend. Perfect, let's go for four more. Two to go. Step touch, both arms, push up. Now make sure you are using good posture pulling in your abdominals, pulling your shoulders back. Circle back, one arm at a time. I like this beat, we're in a trance, we're in a trance. Four more. Two to go. All right, legs apart, breathe in. Exhale, one more time, breathe in. We're gonna put those hands above the knees, exhale, round that back, and inhale, flat. Let's go for four more. Here we go for three, two, and last one. Okay, let's bend those knees, come on up. Breathe in, and march in place. So let's start out with a little activity here, some simple cardio. We're gonna start out with a step touch right here. And the arms can do anything or nothing. It's up to you. Coming up next, we're going to do a back lunge. Half time, let's go. Lunge, back. What we will do next is we'll put those two moves together. Step to the side, and then we're going to lunge back. Inside leg, let's go. Step, lunge, step, lunge. That's it. Really good. V-step, out, out, in, in. Very good. One more. Step and lunge. Okay, you got that? I hear Terry tapping back there. Tapping. One more. V-step, out, out, in, in. All right, now that you have it, let's pick up that pace a little bit. Step and lunge back. And a V-step, step and lunge. Let's go. 
So here we are alternating B steps, step and lunge. All right, pulse rate coming up. B step, step and lunge. B step, step and lunge. Let's do it a couple more times. Good. B step, step and lunge. Last time for now, we might bring it back. B step. All right, let's keep the legs moving. Let's go back and pick up our weights. You want the big ones, Terry? She says no, okay. I'll give you a break this time. Okay, let's keep the feet moving here. Bicep curls, let's pull back to the shoulders and release. Good. Keep that posture. Excellent. Four more. We've got two more. So you remember that lunge? We're bringing it back. Halftime lunge, push the arms forward. Excellent. So we are working the shoulders and various parts of the lower body. Keep going. Got to keep control of those weights. Four more. Two to go. All right, take the legs apart. Turn to one side. You're going to aim low, pull up at an angle. So this will get involved into the upper back and the rear deltoids and the shoulders. Let's slow it down. Half time and pull. That takes out all the momentum. This is all us, all you doing the work. No momentum involved here. Let's give it four more. I like this theme song. What doesn't kill us, gonna make us stronger. Isn't it the truth? One more time. Hold that elbow back. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks. And Carrie, I'm not gonna worry so much about the tempo of the music. It's more important that we do it correctly. Keep that form good. There we go, shoulders relax. You're gonna want to make sure that shoulder on the side you're working is down in a natural position. There we go. And one more. Now let's switch sides. Start tempo, push down, pull back. Two more. All right, slow it down. Here we go, push, push, pull, pull. I might mention as well, you can see the scene behind us is kind of busy. We got a lot of stuff out here. All of the awards won were won during this past year from My Backyard Garden. And all of the products, the dahlias and vegetables, grown in that backyard garden. Hold the elbows back, triceps. Let's just push. Give yourself an opportunity to go through that full range of motion. A little bit slower than the tempo. Sometimes it's better to be thorough than it is to race through and do it quickly. And this is one of them right here. Okay, we've got Rihanna coming on. One more. Let's put those weights out of the way where you will not step on them. Okay, this is a good one. Let's do some squats, side to side. One side, then the other. Good. Three more. One more. Step touch. And squat. We're starting on that other side, the right side, left side. And three more. One more. Step touch. Squat left right, 
left, step touch, and squat. Yes, step touch, squat. Getting that cardio back up. Step touch, let's do one more. Squat. One more time, step touch. All right, breathe in. Exhale out. Hey Terry, it's back to the weights. You knew I wouldn't let give you that much of a break, right? Okay, so what are we gonna do here? We're gonna work on the upper back again. Okay, step forward, legs apart, pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Starting at a kind of a quick tempo, getting those muscle groups warmed up. Now slow it down, pull, and press it back down, working resistance the whole time. How would you explain resistance, Terry? I think the way I'd explain it, it's like you are flexing those muscles, like you're working really hard. The weights are attached to a very strong elastic cord and you gotta pull all that extra to be able to get the weights to actually come up into the upright position here. Working against gravity, I like that. That was Terry's suggestion. Okay, now let's step closer together. We're gonna take the weights out to the side, lateral raises, out to the side and lower down. I hope you're breathing. I'm getting a little winded from all this. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Remember your shoulders actually attach a little bit lower then, you know, the top of the shoulders right there, they attach a little bit lower. So if you bring your arms up really, really high, you might be risking injury to your shoulders. That's not why we're here. Here's a good one. Take it up and hold it, hold it, and slowly lower down. I feel that one. Here we go, let's take it up, hold it, and slowly lower down. Go again, up, hold, slowly lower, hold, slowly lower. I think we should keep going. Let's do four more. Simple activities. This is actually good exercise for if you are a gardener, like I am, keeping your muscles built up during the off season. So when you go out first thing in the spring and spend two or three hours out there, you don't come in completely sore. All right, let's release. Let's do some hammer biceps. The hammer biceps, the blunt part of the weight comes directly back towards the shoulders. Let's give it Oh, let's say, let's say eight more. And keep the elbows pretty close to the side here. Just four more. Come on, do it with us. If you don't have weights, you can pick up maybe a couple of cans of soup. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, right here, we're gonna sit back and make sure the knees are to stay directly over the ankle. So you're sitting back low, like you're getting ready to sit into a chair without using your hands. So the weight starts to transfer back to the heels. Now for some extra challenge, this is actually a good counterbalance. Can you take the arms, push forward and lower back? Oh, heavy workload here. Using the large muscle groups in the lower body. That will pull up the pulse rate. All 
All right, let's put those weights out of the way one more time. Okay, one more shot at cardio. Step touch. We've got two steps to the side. One, two, one, two. One more time. Now we got repeater knees, four knees to the corner, to the other corner. Four, three, two. Good. Good, I hope you're trying it with us. Step touch. Give me two steps, let's go. One, two. Repeat her knees to the corner. The other corner. Again. And step touch. Okay, we're putting those two together. Two steps. Repeater's corner. Four, three, two steps going the other way. Repeaters. Two steps. Repeaters. Two steps. Repeaters. Okay, you got it. Two steps. Repeaters. Two steps. Repeaters. And march in place. Whoa. You can get a drink of water any time. Just a sip or so. I think now, let's take one weight. One weight. Okay. So we're going to start to work on parts of the core the midsection between the shoulders and the hip joints. So you got that weight right out here in front. We're going to stir over to the hip, to the side. The knees are bent so the lower body remains stationary. The upper body, of course, the shoulders are going side to side. And I feel that right there in the core of the abdominals and also in the lower back. I feel the obliques along the side. Let's stir. You're gonna stir all the way around and take your time. We don't have to hurry. Good, shoulders are still turning. Welcome to the world. Let's go the other direction. So reach forward. You can also get some work in the upper back and the arms. Alternate. 360, 360. This is one of my favorite water exercises. Terry and I are also um, aqua fitness instructors. So you get those, uh, they call them drag weights. They're, they're not very heavy, but they put a drag when you're in the water. Let's hold it right here. Let's do wood choppers. So again, we are gonna keep it a little slower than the tempo. Wood chopper comes from eyebrow level and on down through. Now find the tempo, take it up to the side. Now back to the other side. Oh yes, core work, I feel it. Remember when they used to call the core the torso or the trunk? Extension of the opposite leg is an option. Core is a marketing term. Nobody wanted to turn on the torso workout infomercial. So they made it into the core. Whoa, watch that balance. I just about went careening off to my right. Hold it right here. Now big circles overhead.
Again, more core work. We're bending the knees. And switch sides, switch directions. Coming up will be my biggest test of the day. I'm going to see if I can remember all of those parts of simple choreography and put them all together. Let's put the weights down. Okay, make sure they're out of the way. Okay, everybody remember the first one? Start with a step touch. So we're going to do the step touch and the inside leg lunges back. Here we go. Lunge back, lunge back. V-step, lunge back. Step over, lunge. V-step, let's try that again. Step and lunge. It's been what, 15 minutes since we did it? V-step, I almost forgot it. Step and lunge. What's coming up next? After the V-step, squat to the side. And step touch, squat to the side. Step touch, two steps moving. Repeat her knees. All right, two steps. Hey, I remembered it. <laughs> <laughs> Three, almost, step and lunge. I think I jinxed myself on that one. V-step, step and lunge. V-step, squat to the side. One more, step touch, squat. V-step. Two steps, two steps, repeaters. Going back the other way, two steps, two steps, repeaters. Now with a little less intensity, step and lunge, we're gonna start to cool down. Not quite as big as steps, V-step, step and lunge. V-step, squats, littler squats. Step touch, little squats. Step touch, two steps moving. Repeaters. Two steps moving, last time. Repeaters. Tap the heel in front. All right. We get to now cool down officially. All right, let's take the legs apart. Let's start with a side to side so we don't make the mistake of cooling down too quickly. Keep some movement going in the lower and the upper body. kind of flows with this music we're listening to. Let's reach across and pull back. One more. Switch sides, reach across and pull. Very good. If you and the audience are doing this with us and you need a little more cool down, just keep your legs moving. Breathe in. Exhale out. Let's step back with one leg. And actually, for most people, the better condition you're in, the smaller amount of time it takes to cool down. So if you're just starting out um, an exercise program, you can cut yourself a little slack, take a little longer to cool down. And now take that arm across the body. Stretch your, all this area around the shoulder and the upper back that we worked very diligently. Step about halfway in. Lean out forward, bend the knee. You're bending at the hip joint. Push both arms forward. 
stretching out that upper back, as well as the hamstrings, calves and Achilles tendon, and gluteus maximus. Release, okay. Runner's lunge, step back, tighten the glutes, tuck the hip forward, take the arm up, let's bring it back. Just guide it back gently. No need to hurt yourself. I like to say stretch just to the point where it starts to feel challenging and maybe half a percent more and leave it there. All right, step about halfway in, lean out forward. This time we're going to open the upper back and shoulders. So pull the shoulders back. I'm reaching above my wrist. Let's see if you can see back here. And then pushing up, opening my chest, pulling in my abdominals. Let's bring it back to the center. Take the legs apart, at least shoulder width. And then as you bend the knee and lunge over to the side, you wanna be able to feel the inner thigh and the groin area. So let's reach up, get a good stretch along the side. And switch, go to the other side. And hold it right here. Let's take the, the chin down toward the chest and then over to one side. You can stretch the side of the neck. The trapezius muscle group is the primary one there. Let's bring it down to the other side. And back to the center. Thank you for being here with us today and thanks to Terry. Um, we'll see you the next time. The next time we have a body smith workout, we hope you're here with us. Um, happy gardening, everybody. Shall we go out and check the dahlias? Okay, let's go.